What's going on YouTube? I'm back with a new video. This is my new video. I'm speaking on why I dropped out of college for various reasons, but specifically about money and things that I learned and things that I understood while still having a full ride scholarship. Yes, I used to be a track guy. D1 school, had a full ride scholarship. I dropped out of school after about a year, but I stopped doing track after my first semester. Now there's different various reasons. Before we get into the story time and reasons why I did this and why you probably should do the same if you're in college and wanna drop out and wanna figure out if you should or should not, make sure you like this video, stop right now, go like this video, make sure you subscribe and let's continue on. Now let's get straight into it. I dropped out of school because I realized that school wasn't gonna help me in a sense. Now. I did like school, I liked the environment, I did enjoy college, and I pretty much had all my experiences that everybody wants to experience to go to college for, but that was it after that. When I realized that, what I had to come to, I had to come to a realization, okay? Would I rather go to school for four years, and I was a marketing major, go on to come some marketing for some company, making this company millions, if not maybe billions of dollars, because you think about it this way. Without marketing, without being able to have reach, a company makes zero money. It doesn't matter who you are. You have to have good marketing skills. For you to even come to this video, I had to market somehow to get you to watch this video. I had to make some type of clickbait or thumbnail, whatever brought you to this. It still brought you here. TikTok, whatever brought you here, brought you to well, watch this video. Or you would not be watching this video right now, right? So why would I go make this company millions and billions of dollars if I can do that for myself and my own company. It may take a little bit longer, it may take even five years, 10 years, but I'd rather do it in the end and get all my money's worth and all my time worth for myself rather than going away and giving it to somebody else. So there's a quote that I want everybody to understand and sit down and think about right now. It, and it said that either if you don't have a plan for yourself, you'll go on to work and create somebody else's plan. Now what does that mean? Now if you, we want to go make a business and it fails, most likely you're going to have to get a job. And if you get a job, you're building somebody's plan, whether it's a construction company, whether it's a school education system, whether it's the government's plan on having workers and suppressing people, whatever the case may be, you're a part of somebody's plan, but you're not part of your own. So you need to make sure that you have your own plan. So this is the first thing that I realized as well. I can either do four years of grinding it out. And if I fail, I told my mom, I said, mom, listen, all I need, this is a real story. I said, mom, I just dropped out of school. I said, all I need is just give me three months and let's just see if it works out, right? So basically this is what happened actually. I took the three months, I, my second year, I took the semester off. I took three months off to go pursue my clothing line because that's what I did at the time. And I actually had dropped out when I made $1,500 in one month. Now you may think $1,500 in one month is not, is not a lot of money. And it's not a lot of money, but it just showed me that, okay, well, okay, well, let's just say I went twice as hard and doubled that as 3K a month. And 3K a month um, times 12 is like 36K a year. So I'm like, okay, well, that's still not good money, but 3K a month is enough money for me to not go to school. That's my opinion. That's my personal opinion. That's enough for me not to go to school, and that's, not, and that's enough for me to not be working for somebody else because I'd rather make 3K a month working for myself in my own time than making 6K a month working at some corporation job. That's just my personal opinion. I like my leisure, I like my freedom. And by the end of the day, we're pretty much not free for real for real. But I enjoyed that freedom that I could get from making 3K a month. So, so you know what, I'm dropped out of school and I said, mom, give me, give me three months, give me three months to just work on my business. So she gave me the three months. And actually, I definitely failed. Um, that three months, my business did get bigger to a point where I was making 3K a month to like around 4K. But then there were some months later on after that where I only made around 2K. So I was like, okay, well, this isn't super sustainable. Later on, I continued on to do stuff. I continued on to do different marketing, different ads, stuff like that. And I had my first month of 6K. Now, at this point, I actually had still went back to college, actually. Now, but this time, it's a funny thing that happened, actually. I actually got kicked out because my mom wasn't messing with my business plan anymore. So I got kicked out. So I only went back to school to live in a dorm. I didn't sign up for any classes. I didn't sign up for a single class. My mom didn't know though. I didn't sign up for a single class. At least happy though because she didn't have to pay. And because after you do, after you do that, you drop out, right? You do lose your scholarship. So I actually, it's crazy because I had a full ride, right? So for the second semester of college, I had to pay that myself. I had to go pay that myself. But that's how much I believed in myself. I didn't care to do a single day of track 
and go waste my time. I knew I wasn't going to be the next Usain Bolt. I knew what it took to be Usain Bolt and to go do that. And that's not what I was going to do, honestly. So I left that alone because I knew I wasn't going to be up at 3 in the morning working out and doing a whole bunch of extra stuff to go become used to the next Usain Bolt. And with track, it's a little bit different than football in the NBA. I'm only 5'8", so I knew I couldn't do that either. So I had to come to a realization that that wasn't going to be me. And if you're not the top track dog, I don't know if you can look this up, if you're not the top track dog, dog the top track guy, you're not getting paid for a fro. Like, I promise you, you're not getting paid for a fro. And I'm not about to be going walls to balls and not get paid for a fro. I want to get paid. I want to be making a lot of money. So I said, you know what? I'm going to leave this alone and I'm going to go do me because I was broke. I was doing uh, practices and stuff like that, but I wasn't making any money. So I'm like, nah, this is not for me, man. I'm not about to keep waking up at 5 a.m. to not make no money, make no bag. You go on a date, you can't even pay for it. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, not, it's, not, it's not a good look for the long run. So I just stopped. Um, and I would look around me. If you want to know how to succeed, you need to look at how a lot of people fail. And I look around me, and I'm not saying that getting a job means you'll fail in life. That's not what I'm saying. But what I'm saying is for my plan to become a millionaire, which I am right now, and everything worked out in the end anyways, was to not do what a lot of people did. So I knew that, okay, I could stay in college without doing track, and I would be in debt. I don't want to be in debt because debt, just, debt is not just debt. Debt is also depression. Like you're depressed, you get your money, it goes to a debt collector. You get your money, it goes to the government. You get your money, it goes to this and that and that and that. You don't want to do that. And to not be above and obviously in the positive equity when it comes to your life and actually having money that you can use in yourself and whatever you want without getting your car seized or your house seized because you're in debt and you shouldn't be doing that anyway. You have to pay them back. This was the way to go. Dropping out of college, dropped out. I dropped a lot, left track. Started doing my clothing line stuff. Now, on top of that, I realized, okay, well, I need to invest my money. If I don't invest my money, well, these months that I'm making only 2K a month, what's going to happen during those times? Am I just going to be having money sitting in my bank account? I should have my money working for me. When you understand, and you understand how most of these millionaires become millionaires, even myself, and this, these stories all align, it's the same. You have to invest your money no matter what. And there's no way around it. Holding on to your money for dear life is not going to make you rich. Think about this, bro. Think about this, and this is actually some of the craziest, little small facts. They said that if you had made $10,000 since the day that Jesus was born, you still wouldn't have as much money as Jeff Bezos right now. Mind you, that's like 2,000 years, bro. Think about it, 2,000 years of getting $10,000 every day, you still wouldn't have as much money as Jeff Bezos. And Jeff Bezos is only 64 years old. So that just goes to show that you have to have some type of business or something that's gaining some compound interest in your favor to get rich and to be ahead of the game. You cannot keep your money in your bank account. Think about it this way. Even if you made 100K a year, right? And we do have taxes. So let's just go on 100K, let's say positive 100K, no taxes, whatever. Let's just put it for example. You get 100K a year for 10 years. Now you're 20, say you get a college, you're 20, 22. You still won't have a million dollars until you're 32 years old. Now, some people are fine with that, but I'm just saying, wouldn't you want to enjoy some of that millions of dollars while you're 25, 23, 27? Now, it may be like, okay, that's just a 10 year difference, but 10 years is a lot. There's 30 years olds who wish they can go back in time and become 20 years old. And something that my dad always told me as well, right? And this is for everybody just watching who's watching this video, because I know everybody watching this video is going to be a millionaire, right? Don't spend your 30s correcting mistakes from your 20s and definitely don't spend your 40s correcting mistakes from your 30s. And that's just saying that to do things right the first time, do things right the first time in the first opportunity you get. And right now, we're about to enter a recession. Shit, we are in a recession right now. You need to be locking down your money, investing your money into things, investing your money into a business, investing your money into real estate, investing your money. Shoot, maybe you're a friend who started a business. Make sure you go over the plan, see if it's adequate invest into that invest into something the money in your bank account is becoming worth less every single day right now 33 percent of americans are looking for secondary jobs right now now in i posted this on my instagram it's kind of crazy to me because you're only going to go get a second job to still get doesn't matter how hard you work like i said on the last video doesn't matter how fast you're flipping these patties you're still going to get paid ten dollars twenty five dollars an hour it doesn't matter so now, what are you doing? You're exchanging more time of your life, like more time of your life that you can be spending with your friends, more time of your life that you could be on a beach, more time of your life that you can't get back to go build somebody else's dream and not your own, not your own dream. Your shit, you could be working for me, who knows? You could be working for me indirectly. You don't know what I invested into and you could be working for me, making me richer, but why? You know what I'm saying? I mean, I would love to become richer, obviously, but 
why not do that for yourself as well? Why not we all get rich together? Why not? Then once, once again, if we're all rich, nobody's rich, but there's probably only a couple hundred people watching this video. So if you're part of the couple hundred people watching this video, then you know what to do. You know you need to go invest. Now, if you're in college and you're deciding, hmm, should I drop out? Is this, is this, is this ready for me? So there's a couple things that you have to think about. When I was in college, I used to always be in the, in the classroom. I used to always wonder like, well, what could I be doing if I wasn't here? You know, if you don't have those thoughts, then you probably shouldn't drop out. I was literally in class, like doing math and shit like that. And I'm like, bruh, I could literally be inside making TikTok videos, making content to go viral. Like if you had this type of mindset and you're in class all the time thinking about what else could you be doing? Or maybe you're not a social media person. Maybe you just have a business plan. Um, it's in tech stuff and doesn't involve social media at the time. Then go do that. Like go pursue that right now. Like Elon Musk said, you don't have a mortgage. Hopefully you don't have a mortgage. Why would you do that to yourself? You don't have a mortgage. You don't have any car notes. You don't have anything to pay for. All you have to do is wake up and go do something with your life. Most likely, and you know, God forbid you, any of you guys who watch this lost your parents, but you have some type of guardianship that will let you stay under your roof for free for maybe four years, maybe until you obviously can pay rent. And even if you have to pay rent where you live at, it doesn't matter. You have to eventually. It doesn't matter if you do it younger or older. That's just life at the end of the day. But the point is you have a minuscule amount of responsibilities right now. You need to be taking as many risks as possible right now because you're gonna get older, you're gonna get 25, 30, and it's gonna be a little bit harder if you take a risk. You can still take a risk at that time, but then you could just end up putting yourself into a horrible position that nobody cares. And especially when you're young, think about it. Do people have more sympathy for older people who are broke than younger people who are broke? People have more sympathy for younger people who are homeless than older people that are homeless. The older you get, the less people give two fucks. Like I'm telling you right now, the older you get, people start to not give a fuck anymore, bro. Like most people watch my videos because I'm a 22 year old millionaire. But if I was a 32 year old millionaire or a 40 year old millionaire, I don't think people would care as much. It's just because I'm a young guy who's made it happen. And once again, if you start a business at a young age, more people are gonna support you. A lot of people are gonna support you because you're trying to make it happen in a positive manner at a young age. So take advantage of your opportunities. Understand that if you are not working for yourself and if you are not helping yourself, you're gonna be helping somebody else. You're gonna be making somebody else richer. While you're slaving away at your job or at your desk, somebody's at home chilling, probably playing golf, or maybe doing what I'm doing. I watch TV all the time. I, I know that people say, oh, don't watch TV. I watch movies all the time while making thousands to hundreds of dollars every day. There's not a day I don't make a thousand dollars. It's just not a day unless I just choose not to. And that came from having enough discipline. That came from working smarter and not harder and understanding how the world works, understanding how money works, right? So different things you guys should invest into. Just talk about this before the video ends. Life insurance, crypto, stocks, a Roth IRA, small businesses, real estate, Invol involve yourself in all those things. Certificates with your bank, you can get some You can get some return on that. It may not be too crazy, but you can get like 3% return on that. And invest into everything you can invest into right now, and all you guys will become a millionaire. I appreciate you guys for watching, and if you think that you should be dropping out, and you think you have the work ethic to drop out, then go drop out now, right now. Go do it, go take the risk. And if it doesn't work out, then you just probably didn't go hard enough. And if it doesn't work out, and you went hard enough, and you gave it your all, and you know you gave it your all, at least you fucking tried, because 99% of people don't. So thank you guys for watching this video. I appreciate everybody that subscribed to my channel. So many more bangers coming in the future. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys later.